So about a Synology DS415 Plus comes with two gigabytes of memory. I'm gonna upgrade it to eight gigabytes. So I went and got a crucial eight gigabyte laptop memory card here. Just gonna show you how to open up the device and actually get that inserted. So let's go ahead and start with removing the hardware platters themselves with those uh, uh, all taken out and noted where they go back if you have all your hardware platters. We'll turn the, the hardware around and we're gonna remove three screws. So first off, there's a screw, one screw's right up here at the top, the second one directly below it. Those are gonna take care of the, the chassis or the outer housing. And then the third one here is gonna help us uh, on the inside here. So let's go ahead and get those screws removed. Then we're gonna turn the, the box around here. And uh, what we need to do is do a little bit of prying. So we're gonna, this metal bar here, what we wanna do is pull it inwards into the box, the, the, the opening here, while uh, uh, pushing the plastic outward a little bit. And that's just gonna help us separate because everything's just a press fit. So if I squeeze nice and tight here, it should slowly give and pop just like that. So basically I just pulled that metal bar inward a little bit on the chassis and the plastic housing just moves straight back. So we'll set it up here on its side using two hands, kind of pry it open and lift it up and off. Now with everything off, we're gonna go ahead and remove four screws on the left and right side of the chassis. So there's uh, the other four screws here on the, the bottom of that chassis. And that'll allow us to take all this metal housing out and actually get to the RAM. All right, with all those screws removed, I got one more screw here on the back. It's connecting the USB board here. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that off. And now we should be able to slide the metal chassis right out and then pull the USB board out and pop those fan power cables off and then lift up on the uh, main motherboard here. Everything will slide out. There is some aluminum tape kind of holding things in place. We'll need to put, uh, reapply that, but basically uh, here's the board and here is our memory, two gigabyte memory card. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that off, replace it with our uh, crucial eight gigabyte and uh, reassemble. Once we get it all back in place here, I just want to show you a little bit of how to get that uh, door back on. So we're going to use the same kind of method to slide the housing back on. Um, and just note that it's going to be a little off kilter, just like we did when installing. But there's uh, three tabs here uh, that kind of uh, interlock with each other. So there's three tabs on both plastic sides. Basically, you have to press the housing together nice and tight like that on the top and the bottom side. And then once they're both kind of pressed together nice and tight, then you can slide, start to slightly slightly slide it forward. So here we'll just pop it right in nice and easy. Perfect. And finish assembly. Get those screws in, insert the hard drive platters next. And uh, then all that's left is to power it on. It'll take a little bit to boot up, but what we can see from this is basically everything's good to go. So hopefully this helps. Best of luck.